video I wanted to bring you my monthly favorites and I did not do this last month so I have like two months of favorites to share with you and so I'm just gonna try to breeze through these as fast as possible without blabbing too much but knowing me probably not gonna happen so first favorite that I have is the pixie glow tonic I've actually been using this for ages um, but especially with my skin I'll talk a little bit about my skin it's been having some issues um, I have been getting burnt a lot I have been using sunscreen but it has not always been enough or on days that I forget and I start to peel really really badly and unfortunately a lot of products aren't moisturizing enough or hurt my skin too much to use this is made with a little bit of glycolic so it can sting but it also has aloe vera and ginseng this is amazing it's a natural tonic um, you can get it from Target and it has been amazing so it is a tonic like it is like a toner but you can actually use it to exfoliate your lips talking about sunburns do you see my sunburn not a pretty look so Anyways, Pixie Glow Tonic has been one of my favorites, but it has come to the rescue recently. I've also been having a little bit of dryness issues where I have gotten these sunburns. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my shoulders are burnt. I am burnt here. I have been using the Soap and Glory Butter. This one actually has my name on it. What? Amazing! Um, this is an amazing, rich and moisturizing body butter. And Soap and Glory used to be really expensive. They have recently lowered their prices and have not cut down on quality. But it's a very luxurious shea butter. And it also has aloe vera in it. So it is very moisturizing. It is great for your skin. Um, and it is great for dry or sunburnt patches. I have just been in so much pain. I have been lathering this on instead of straight up aloe vera. Because the aloe vera that you buy on the store, it's like glycerin and that has like aloe vera extract. It's like what? Unless you actually get the plant and like shove it on you or go to Whole Foods like good luck getting pure aloe vera so this is so read your ingredient labels this is what I've currently been using it smells awesome as well as far as having parties in my bathtub this is the luscious gay is okay bar this smells like a pride parade in my bathtub. I've already gone through one of these, but this is amazing. Um, for those of you who don't live in the U.S., I'm sure most everybody knows, but the U.S. is finally given equality to people who want to spend the rest of their lives together when it comes to medical benefits, legal benefits, etc. And, you know, everyone has a different stance on that. But um, this means a lot to me personally. And Lush Cosmetics um, came out with this Gay is Okay bar as a campaign to raise awareness that in, I think, 76 countries, it's illegal to be gay and intend that you'll actually be put to death just by saying that you're gay, even if you don't act in a way that is homosexual. Just by being gay and having those feelings and having, you know, being born that way, people are being killed every day um, if they want to live openly. So Lush is really raising a Lush is really, so Lush is really raising awareness on equality, which I think is amazing. And so I bought a bunch of these bars to support. They smell amazing. Ah, I posted this with the photo with my cat and Lush actually Instagrammed it. I was like, oh my God, my cat is Insta famous. Uh, but this has been amazing. I went to Pride with my friends over the weekend in San Francisco. Um, San Francisco is where Pride originated and it was just the most amazing experience ever and I'm just so blessed to be able to come together with people and celebrate equality and differences and similarities and all that fun stuff so this has been amazing it smells like a party in your bathtub if you go to your Lush Cosmetics or want to check Lush out online I highly recommend it um, because it supports those who have been discriminated against um, as well as giving you a Pride Parade in your bathtub because that is how good this thing smells when it comes to mascara I I'm so excited! So Benefit They Are Real has been my favorite mascara for quite a while. I have naturally curly lashes. Some people love it, some people don't. For me, it stays on all day. It's amazing. Well, they recently came out with some killer colors and they got the Benefits They Are Real mascara in blue. So obsessed. I think they also got it in brown. And they got the liners in like greens and purples. But I got the mascara in blue. This is so amazing. It's the same wand. It's the same formula. It lasts and works just as well. But it is literally this vibrant, amazing blue. So I am so obsessed. Also, as it becomes summer, I have been using deodorant. As you guys know, I have never been a big deodorant fan. Last year, I modeled for a deodorant company and I started using their deodorant. Since then, I have been using deodorant because I realized that even if I can't smell it, that doesn't mean that other people can't smell it. Perfume doesn't always work. Um, and also, I do have perspiration issues when it gets a little bit hotter, which I didn't have in the past. So these are the Pacifica underarm wipes. These are the coconut scent. They have a few different ones. This one is brand new because I ran out of my old one. But you take these and you take them out and you wipe them on. So these are perfect for on the go. Um, I've also, sometimes I have been using, uh, let's just like apply deodorant, guys. Come on, why not? I've also been using um, 
um, a stick deodorant. I'm thinking of going to like Dove or something for like wetness protection because I do need something with superior wetness protection. But these do smell great. They're cruelty free. They're from Pacifica and they smell like summer. So when I get that summer sweat, this is my best summer bet. Speaking of skincare, the Burt's Bees anti-aging um, moisturizer, the overnight moisturizer has also been a favorite for more for um, uh, May than it was for June, but it's still been a favorite. Um, this is from Burt's Bees. It is a very, very tacky, um, uh, very uh, almost like a mozzarella texture. I don't know how to describe it. It smells like pomegranate. The scent is actually, it's Burt's Bees Re Renewal Firming Night Cream, hibiscus and apple, but I swear to God, it smells like pomegranate. So this is what I've been using to help out with my burns. It doesn't necessarily fight acne, um, just because it doesn't have any acne ingredients in it, but it does help um, just with overall moisture and then with any burning that I have, and it doesn't break me out. Next, we will get into some makeup. The first favorite is this little makeup kit. Um, it says, I would cry, but my mascara is designer. They also have like, um, Love Raised Me, but Lipstick Saved Me. What is the actual brand of this? It is called Breakups to Makeup, and they're sold at Sephora. I absolutely love this little case. I got it at BeautyCon Obsessed. So lots of, lots of makeup loves that I have been loving. Here is my Tarte palette, and I have like a fake eyelash stuck on it. This is the Tarte After Dark palette. I use this all the time in fall of last year, but I have been loving it again. Um, it is a gorgeous array of colors. It has your bronzer, your highlight, your blush, and then your eye colors. This one right here, I wish I knew the actual name of it. Um, it's from Rainforest After Dark. This is like the most beautiful purple you'll ever use. It's just amazing to get right there in your eyes. It is fantastic, and this blush is like the best color for my skin. So I've been super obsessed with this. It's great for travel and on the go. What I basically did was take out the contents of my purse and dump it into this little bag. So these have been my favorites and what I've been using. Um, and naturally, whenever a woman dumps out her purse, she is bound to have at least 50 lip glosses or lip colors, um, which I do. So I decided to take you through these because I have loved them all for the past two months. Um, and the first one is the, this is actually pretty new, the Fresh Sugar. This is in Nude. It's this gorgeous shimmery pink. Um, it's a more natural line. It's from Fresh. You can get it at Sephora. It's, oh, it smells so good. It's called the Sugar Nude Shine Lip Treatment, and it hydrates and moisturizes your lips um, with sugar, and it also gives them shine in color in a gloss. Another one of the naturals that I've been loving is the Gabriel Cosmetics in Orchid. I'm sorry, it's in Soft Berry. It's kind of an orchid color. I love it because it is all natural. Um, you can get these at Whole Foods. They're just Gabriel Cosmetics. Um, the sugar one is more of a shimmer. This is more of a matte color, just depending on if I'm feeling more purple or more pink or more shimmery or more matte. This is a baby nude. I think I featured this in my April Fairy Bits as well, but it stayed in my purse, so it's still here. This one is in Supermodel. I love it. Um, I got this back in April. Lorac, um, Lorac, this formula is amazing. I'll put it on. I just love the formula, I love the color, it's long lasting, and it is the perfect nude. When I am feeling a little bit more vampy, this is actually a lip stain. This is from 100% Pure. Um, this is the Fruit Pigmented um, Lip Stain in Cherry, and I love 100% Pure because they are vegan, they are cruelty free, and they're all pigmented by natural fruits, berries, their foundation is made of like pressed rice. So it's natural, it's safe to put on your face, um, and safe to eat, even though it doesn't taste the best. but been loving this and I will even do this with a, oh my hair's coming undone, will even do this with a gloss over the top. Stay where you belong, hairs. <laughs> I have not been loving a lot of lipstick, but I have stuck with this makeup forever. Um, this is an Intense number 51. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous baby pop pink. Absolutely amazing. It is definitely more of a bold statement color, um, but it is definitely been one of my go-tos. Um, I do like to tone it down a little bit with a gloss over the top, but it makes the glosses pop really well because it is so mattified and pigmented. I attended the Tie the Knot Dream Wedding with Revlon, which was amazing, um, but I got to see Sam get married, and it was amazing because Tie the Knot basically asked the entire internet what dress, what hair, what makeup she should wear on her wedding day. Um, basically the internet helped her to choose her wedding because her mom was sick and it was, they've tried to get married before and just couldn't do it, and it was amazing, so it was a Napa. I got to go. It was fantastic. It was so amazing to see them get married. And I fell in love with the lip color that they used. And it's an everlasting orchid. Um, the final look that they did was posted on tiethenot.com and Revlon's wedding if you guys want to see how to recreate it. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on how to recreate it. But 
fell in love with her lip color. Um, and it lasts through crying and kisses, uh, which was really, really cute. It lasted her the entire day, and then I was like, oh my god, I need this. So I went to CVS and I bought it. Um, it has one side, which is kind of the sealant, the gloss, and then the liquid lipstick side, which is just beautiful. And again, it's like Everlasting Orchid amazing and I have been obsessed with it since I found out about it and gave it a try in early June. When it comes to the face, I have been trying to do a little bit lighter when it comes to foundation. Um, I have been using, this is brand new from Bare Minerals, I love it, it's the Complexion Rescue. It does have SPF 30 um, and it's hydrating so theoretically it should help me with some of these sunburns. It's not as full coverage as a full coverage foundation but it is just the right amount for me for every single day. As far as bronzers and highlighters go, I have been loving the NARS 4th 13 Bleecker Street. I think this was limited edition, but this is just what I've been popping on. I'm using a liquid highlighter because I like to just have that little shimmery. Makes me feel like a mermaid. Um, and I've also been loving the Too Faced um, Pink Leopard Blushing Bronzer. This is amazing. I can't believe I've never tried it before. I got this um, early June. Um, it does not smell like cocoa, but their other bronzers do smell like cocoa, which is amazing, like chocolate. Um, but this one is the Pink Leopard. It's just an amazing cheek flush. I think that it is absolutely adorable. Um, and everyone's used this on YouTube for years, so I finally jumped on the bandwagon and I've been obsessed. Brows are kind of where it's at. My friend Seth recently taught me how to get the most amazing defined brows and I have been using his tips and tricks. Um, but with that, I needed a good brow pencil, so I have been using the Bobbi Brown. It's a double-sided. One has like a little spoolie and the other one has this, um, it's kind of like a pencil. This one is in mahogany. It's my color and I just paint this on and then I brush up and it's flawless and easy because it's all right there. Also picked up a Mary Kay um, eyeliner. This is just a scroll up black liner. And I love it because it is very, very creamy. You can smudge it out a little bit, um, but it is waterproof enough that it doesn't get all over your lash line. So that is just what I have been using recently and been enjoying. When it comes to hair, um, during the summer I have very bad sweat scalp, scalp sweat, and I cannot do my hair every single day even though I want to. It's just not good to wash every day. So in order to keep my hair healthy and not wash it every day, but not run around with like an oily scalp. I have been using the Chloron dry shampoo. This is the oat milk one. It is the best. This one's tinted just because I do have brown hair, um, but dry shampoo has literally been my lifesaver. Just spray it at the roots and tossle it in. When it comes to clothing, I have been loving Fabletics. I think I told you guys about them in April. Well, check this out. Is this not like the coolest pair of pants ever? Yeah, I just thought that I would put it out there that literally the only thing I've been wearing for summer is um, workout pants like that's it I just cannot be bothered to actually put on jeans or anything because it's been too hot it was 105 degrees here yesterday so I've been working so I've been wearing workout pants with flats or with sneakers and then actually like a cute top or something that I can switch into a tank top later if I want to but yeah, Fabletics, absolutely obsessed. You've probably seen me on Instagram or on Twitter rocking these, uh, but they're amazing. They're like this mesh, and then they keep me cool because they're moisture wicking, and then they have a little pocket where you can stick all your stuff in, um, so that way you don't lose it. But yeah, guys, those have been my favorites for the past two months. Sorry I didn't update you more regularly. Let me know if you guys want any July favorites, and if you've tried any of these products, tell me which ones you've tried, which ones you like, which ones you don't. Um, and of course, hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. I do more product reviews views and like product posts there more regularly than I do on YouTube I guess you could say but um, I love you guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one love you guys bye